What is going on everyone? Hope you're all having a great day. Happy Father's Day to all you dads out there. In today's video, as you can see, we just hit a little over 15,000 miles on the Jeep Grand Cherokee 2021 WK2. For those of you that are not familiar with my channel, this is the 3.6 liter V6 Laredo X package. Now this video is actually gonna be very short and sweet. I probably didn't even need to make this one because there's really nothing that's changed since the 10,000 mile review. Most people are probably like, well, why are you doing a review every 5,000 miles? Well, I only drive this thing about 10,000 miles per year. So 5,000 miles for me is a full six months. I figure may as well. That being said, the only two things I really have to add in addition to the 10,000 mile review, both of these things are again cosmetic fitment things that most people aren't even going to care about. I have this problem with every set of floor mats that I get. You see how there's like an inch gap right here between the floor mat and the door sill or the door molding. Floor plate, go to the passenger side and it's a nice fitment butts right up to the door sill floor plate area. That's how it should look on that side. So I don't know if the anchors are just in the wrong position on the carpet. I'm not sure if you can just, you know, take them out. I don't think you can. You'd have to relocate them. Again, not a huge deal. Just something my OCD kind of picks up on. Thought I would mention it for you guys. And then the last thing, again, panel fitment deal. The lift gate panels back here as you see there's this ridiculously low hanging spot you can shove up on it but it comes right back down you try to tuck your seal over it see it just hangs down and no matter what you do it just it's like they're just warped pieces of plastic from being jammed into a shipping container or something but very poor fitment back here i am not happy with and then over here big old gap between the panel and the weather strip. Once again, absolutely nothing you can do about it. You can literally pull back right here and see the clip in there. It's clipped, it just, the plastic just doesn't want to go in its home. You can see there's a bit of a bow right there. So I'm probably gonna end up, I don't know, taking a heat gun or a hair dryer or some of this stuff and trying to bend it in because this is really bothering me. I don't want crap falling behind there and it's just kind of ridiculous. The seal is supposed to go over it and cover any sort of gap, and it can't even do that. So yeah, annoying to say the least, but if that's your biggest problems, you know, there's no real rattles or anything back here. It's just the visual fitment. So that's it, guys. I suppose if I had to complain about one more thing, it would just be the 12 volt outlet back here. Uh, when you go to plug stuff in and pull it out, there's a lot of flex in this panel. They should have anchored it a little bit better knowing that people are gonna be plugging in and unplugging things. But as you can see here, it's just got, you know, and then the socket itself has quite a bit of wiggle to it. I feel like they could have done a better job there. But again, we're splitting hairs here, being a little picky, but you know, there's quite a bit of deflection when you're plugging stuff in, pulling it out. And this thing isn't exactly the tightest fit. But again, none of that has anything to do with the reliability of the vehicle as far as mechanical stuff goes. Uh, it's all good. Haven't had any electrical or mechanical issues as of yet. Knock on wood. And yeah, that's it. That's going to cover it. Starting to get rained out here. I don't have anything else to say, so I am going to wrap it up here, guys. If this video helped you out, make sure you hit that like button. Comment down below with any questions. I'll link the 10,000 mile review video down in the video description as well. So you can check that one out. See my gripes there. Check out my other videos here on YouTube and follow me on all my socials. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.